morning. <laughs> so, I had to take Lacey to school because we missed the bus. Because she didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> I had to wake her up three times. Um, but it was actually easier to get her to the high school than it was the middle school, which was kind of interesting. Like my mug. I got this at Vera Bradley for like, it was like 70% off. It was like 50% off and then another 30% off. So it was like a $20 mug and I got it for six bucks, I think. I freaking love it. And it matches my coffee pot, my coffee maker. It kind of matches my shirt and my hair thing. So today, what am I going to do today? I'm off today. You know, and part of me is like, I have all this stuff that needs done. Like the house needs clean. Guys, I have said this before. I can't keep this house clean. It drives me insane. That's why the yard looks as good as it does and my bedroom looks as good as it does because I gave up on the rest of the house. I hate it. I hate the rest of the house. You know, there's a lot of people that have houses that they just love. Not me. Don't love my house at all. If I could re if I could fix the whole thing up or just tear it down and put a new one on, I would, but I can't do that. So I only focus on where I'm going to be the most. I mean, now don't get me wrong. The kitchen's clean-ish. As clean as I can pretty much get it at this point, but I mean, Lacey's room's completely trash, but that's Lacey's room. I pulled the curtain shut. Part of me was like, I should go in there and clean it, and the other part of me is like, she's 14. It's her turn. She needs to do it herself. So I've walked past it, but it drives me insane. The bathroom's clean. It's just, it's an old trailer and it's dilapidated and it's falling apart and there's no storage and there's no space for anything and blah, blah, blah. End of rant. Yeah, that's like my bedroom this morning. I'm like, oh my God, I got stuff everywhere again. Just because I have nowhere to put it. Oh, oh my God, I scared the crap out of me. It's just a bug. I'm not really sure what kind of bug though. I don't know if you guys, it's really hard. I wish we could flip cell phone cameras around. Can you see him? I don't know what he is, is he it? I don't know if he like hops around, but yeah, so like, you know, I have packages that need to go out, but I can't send them out till tomorrow because I get paid tomorrow. So I'm going to address them all and I'm going to stick them in the car so that they're not in my bedroom. I have yarn, I have yarn everywhere. I don't know what to do with all my yarn. You know, so there's bins in there that I think I'm gonna clean out the bins and get rid of all the crap that I don't do anything with and then put all my yarn in the bins. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Because the other part of me is like, it's my day off and it's my, guys, this is my only day off for the next two weeks. Uh, I probably won't have another day off till not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. Because next week, the Delhi department manager's on vacation and somebody else can only work like a couple of days a week or something. So basically, I need to run the deli, but I also need to run the front end. So yeah, I don't get a day off. And my boss has already told me that. And I'm like, okay, you gotta pay me for it. Cause guys, time and a half, you get time and a half over 40. No. I don't know if you get time and a half over 40. I don't think we get time and a half over 40. I think it's time and a half over eight. But the bottom line is, is I get seven day overtime. So that whole last day, so next Saturday, whatever I work on Saturday will be time and a half every hour. It didn't rain. Why is there, I guess it must be like the do or whatever you call it. I need to finish my sunflower. I'm outlining it in black. Part of me is kind of wishing I didn't now, but the other part of me is like, I already started it, so I'm going to. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some sandpaper and sand the edges of the black a little bit so it's not so black. Does that make sense? I don't know. I keep working on it. But I don't, the, without the black, it was too light and it blended in too much with the wood. And I'm also thinking about adding some green leaves. I have no idea yet. I, um, as far as yard work, the only thing I really, I don't think there's really anything I need to do. I think I finished it yesterday. I'll have to take you guys and show you in, in a little bit. But these side gardens, I had a lattice down there just because, just because, like, I didn't want to sit there and look at the black plastic. I'd rather look at the lattice. But, sorry. My... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my brain. But in the corner, in the back corner of the park, when they redid the playground, the playground had pea stone in as the base. Well, they took all that pea stone and they put it in the back corner and we're allowed to have it. So I'm going to go shovel some into some containers and bring it back and I'm going to fill these side beds with the pea stone. Um, yeah. Next year, I'm going to redo the mulch area. What we did in mulch in the side yard, I'm not going to continue with mulch. Like this, I don't know if you can see, this area where the grill is, this area here, where these steps and so far, that was all mulch, but it's kind of overgrown. And I'm okay with that. I think I'm just going to leave that and make that part of the yard and not put mulch down again. And then just keep the mulch on the other side and the whole way around the other side of that trailer. Because, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next year as far as planting. I'll wait until I get closer to that. It changes every year. Like I say, I'm going to do one thing or we, you know, we end up doing something completely different. 
I didn't, <laughs> it's been a couple of years since, well, not last, this past year, but the year before. It's been a couple of years since we had a good crop of vegetables, and I would really like to have a good crop of vegetables, but I don't know. My zucchini used to get really big. Problem is, is I don't cook. Lacey keeps asking me to cook. <laughs> I've been looking up, like, crock pot and that kind of stuff. Because once it starts cooling off, I don't want to put stuff in a crock pot, but... I just, it's a mess, you know what I mean? When you work eight hours a day and you're cleaning up a house and you're working on other things and then to spend another hour and a half in the kitchen, it just does nothing for me. I can cook. I know how to cook. And I can cook some things really well. But man, it's just a pain in the butt. Because you gotta prep it and then you gotta make it and then you gotta cook it and then you gotta eat it and then you gotta clean up after it. I would rather just grab something out of the fridge quick and eat it. I'll be honest. That's why I'm, I, I like doing crock pot meals because they're pretty quick. Throw everything in a crock pot, let it cook all day, eat it, and then all you got is the crock pot. <laughs> you know? If you have crock pot liners, that makes it even better. <laughs> but I, I want a new, um, my neighbors have given me a ninja, but it's in kind of rough shape. And I'd really like to have a new one of those because I really like that thing because you can cook anything in it. Like it's an oven, it's a stove top, it's a, uh, it's a slow cooker. And I really, really like that. So I'd really like to get a new one, but that's gonna, I don't think they're cheap. I spend like a lot of time every day just chatting with you guys. I don't, I get, I just like having somebody to talk to. <laughs> so, thanks, thanks for that. And the, one of the main benefits is, is you guys can't argue with me. You can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what's in store for my day off today. I should do something. Oh, I gotta take my nails off. I'm dreading that. I'm dreading it. I went and got the acetone last night, and I did pick up some pretty nail polish to put on once I get my nails done, but because I broke the one yesterday, it's driving me insane. Like, I don't like just having the one broken, and I'm not gonna go get it fixed because I'm, I, I'm not spending the money on it anymore. I can't do it. Yeah, that's $80 I can go to the pumpkin patch with. Um, I have to crochet today. I have a, guys, I have a project I have like a week to do and I'm going to be working. So I really need to work on that today. The blanket's taking me forever. So I think I'm going to backtrack and, and do the hat today because the hat won't take me long at all, maybe an hour. And then work on the sweater because if I get that part done, then I, the blanket can just be an added benefit. But I just, I get so wrapped up in everything else. There's just so much to do and so little time to do it all in. I wish I didn't have to go to work. I wish I could get paid to not go to work. <laughs> Man, I get all, things, all kinds of things done. I wish there was like real money in crafts and crochet. I am going to be, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am going to be doing some crochet stuff for a consignment. That's kind of cool. So I'm gonna start working on hats. See, hats are easy, they're quick. And yes, Laura, I know I owe you a hat. So before you say anything, I already have it in progress. So I don't wanna hear no more about you want a hat. Then I had a, a kid at work, he's like, you crochet? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, will you make me a hat? I'm like, sure. <laughs> Cause I have nothing else to do right now. <laughs> and I'm like, reality, hats I can whip up in a day. They're not, I could probably do a couple a day. They're not hard at all. So I'm gonna get some of this yarn used up, make some hats, make some fingerless gloves, they're easy. Scarves, easy, easy stuff. I got some um, cotton yarn I'll make some washcloths and stuff with. But yeah. I told you Lacey missed the bus. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna get off here. It's already at 12 minutes. If this vlog's gonna be another 30 minute vlog because of me chit chatting for 15 minutes a vlog. Maybe I'll speed it up and you guys can listen to me talk to chipmunk voice. Like, I'll speed everything else up except for this point where I'm talking about speeding it up. That would be hysterical. I have videos I gotta film. Oh my god, I have one video which I'm like, I'm already hysterically laughing at myself because I'm like, I'm like literally planning it. <laughs> like, point by point. <laughs> and it's gonna be funny. At least I hope so. And then I have, oh my god, I have craft projects out the wazoo. I gotta finish my sunflower today. I get that done today, work on the crochet project today, get that done. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish my coffee. My fingers are going numb anyway from holding the camera. I'll see you guys in a while. I guess I kind of got it. <laughs> They're so quick. I'm done with my sunflower, guys. I guess I'll take you out since I got you on here now that the jet plane's passed. <laughs> I'll take you out. This is the containers I'm going to use. Like I said, I'm going to fill that with pea soup. I'm going to go do that shortly. I just ate breakfast. I did this with that glass bowl. Uh, there's some bird seed in it because I kind of... I haven't seen too many birds this morning, though. But I had the cat out, so that might be why. But most of this is all cleaned up now. I still have styrofoam, but what are you going to do? 
and I still have that to clean up, but I got to get another bag. But yeah, so like that's from the, the last um, sunflower that I had to saw down literally. But I cleaned up all that in there. All that. I brought my angel out front. I cleaned up all of this. It's all, all cleaned up. All cleaned up, all cleaned up, all cleaned up. The whole way down the side. Now next year, I mean this isn't too bad, but back there is pretty bad. So I'll redo all the mulch and stuff next year. I'm not doing it this year. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so... And I'm still getting blooms and stuff on my hibiscus. So yeah, it looks really good. I'm I'm happy. I don't know what I'm gonna do because Halloween's coming and fall. Like if I'm gonna change some of this out for fall. My thing fell. And I even I cleaned up some of that. I think I'm going to I don't know what I'm gonna because I think I'm going to put the tombstones that I'm going to make in there instead of out here because this messes with the people mowing the lawn. If they even mow the lawn because they might stop mowing soon. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. But I got a... I don't know what I'm going to do in here. Probably nothing anymore this year. But everything's all nice and clean for the most part. I'm happy. So yeah, I need to go get some of that pea stone and get this tidied up. See my thing fell. <laughs> That's okay. And then I need to go to Walmart so I can get the stuff so I can plant some stuff in it. I think I'm gonna put it right here, in here, in between the two lights. But I think I wanna get the gloss coat. Right now all I have is the mat. But I think I'm going to get the gloss for it. So yeah, cat's mad. I put him back in the house. He was outside for a while, but he was getting tangled and driving me crazy. So, he went back in. All right. Let's see what we can get into now. Yeah. There's the pile of stone. I'm on my second trip. Just, just say it. I figure out how to do something to the camera so that you can see me. Like I turn up the brightness or something, because it's dark in here. Like I'm in bed. I'm just laying here watching videos. But I realized I don't think I ever actually ended the vlog. So, yeah, I did a lot today, a lot, <laughs> and I'm kind of tired, but not, so there's that, and I gotta be up early tomorrow, because I work 7 to 3, so I'll just be getting up with Lacey. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on here really quick and tell you that I love you and I hope everybody has a great night or had a great night, had a great day and that I will see you all in the next video. Bye.